I vividly remember when I was 16 and my acne had taken over my face, my chest, and my back. I felt like my acne made me a burden to those around me. I never saw acne in magazines or in people on TV or models or celebrities or even like other kids around me. And so I felt like if people had to be in my presence, had to talk to me, had to sit next to me or like be in the same room as me, I felt like my physical appearance was literally degrading their quality of life. And obviously that wasn't true, but it screwed with my head so much that I would cake on layers upon layers of foundation and concealer and powder just to try to feel confident enough to leave the front door. I would have to cake on makeup in my bedroom. I did it like at a little mirror instead of even in the bathroom because I didn't even want to go upstairs and look at my family and have to have breakfast with them when my face was like a bleeding pussy mess. <laughs> and acne really impacted me a ton and still to this day even though I've been able to clear my skin but I wish that I had had someone <laughs> that would have given me the quick dirty tips that actually worked to help me clear my skin. And these are three of them that destroy acne. You don't have to buy new products. You can use the ones that you already have, but just by using them differently, you can see a huge benefit or making sure you have the right ingredients. If you are struggling with it, if you are feeling like it's impacting the way you look at yourself in the mirror, and first off, remember, what you look like has no impact on what you can do for this world. But if you do wanna do something about those blemishes, here's where to start. And the first thing, use your cleanser as like a face mask. A lot of people who use acne cleansers will like put it on you know rinse a little bit and wash it off and that's great but think about this this is like an acne medicated cleanser right some of them have salicylic acid sometimes it's a sulfur wash or a benzyl peroxide wash which this one is but if you want this active ingredient to penetrate onto the skin is it really that useful if you wash it right off use this like a mask like literally wash your face but leave it on for 60 seconds leave it on for two or three minutes or if you're getting in the shower put this on your face before you get in the shower leave it on and then wash it off in the shower shower. And as a bonus in the shower, you can literally use this right here. It's like $10 from Panoxyl. You can put this on your chest and your back. This is benzoyl peroxide, so it does stain. If you don't know what this is, I feel very jealous of you. <laughs> All of my acne babes know what this is. And yes, benzoyl peroxide is the active ingredient that will stain your clothing, your towels, etc. But that's why I love BP in a shower because I can rinse it off before it has a chance to stain my favorite purple bathrobe. Sorry to go on a tangent. I literally got a new purple bathrobe for winter from Amazon, it's like fuzzy. So now I have like my lacy purple bathrobe with pockets and my fuzzy purple bathrobe with pockets. I just have to say, I know it sounds so dumb, but I look like, um, what's that McDonald's purple grimace Grinch? That thing with the, the milkshake? I am a proud purple milkshake sipper in my new purple bathrobe. This $30 bathrobe purchase has brought me so much joy, I just had to share it with you. And while I am wearing this pretty purple bathrobe that makes me feel so cute, I'm actually going to show you how this works, as well as speaking of about like mental health and acne that I personally went through with thanks to BetterHelp for working with us on a portion of today's video and helping to talk about the link between acne and mental health and provide sponsorship to help support this channel and those who are struggling. A lot of people don't know this, but I wasn't encouraged to get therapy until much later on in my life, until after I was 18 because of personal dynamics. And I have had some of the most hurtful, horrible things said to me that negatively impacted my self-esteem and just destroyed me. As a child, I was a little bit more happy-go-lucky and sometimes life just hits you, you know? And life has really hit me this year. Uh, but thankfully for, oh gosh, wow. The past decade, I have gotten mental health help from professionals and really gotten support for the mental health aspect of my acne. Now, life hit me upside the face this year and I feel like I got run over by a truck this summer. And because of that, I'm actually in three different forms of support. I have better help for texting and on the phone therapy. I've also got a psychiatrist and a psychologist. And a licensed therapist is someone that you can talk to who you can share goals or struggles with that can help you decide what's best for you and take action on it. For example, if you were to talk to a friend or family member, they might subconsciously be trying to influence you in one direction or another. And someone like a licensed therapist is trained not to have a bias and to give you tools you need to succeed. There are some that focus on family dynamics, on school and work stress, or even on physical appearance and self-esteem. I wish that I had had therapists when I was younger because when I was being bullied at school, a counselor told me it would be helpful and I never had the opportunity to pursue that. But literally, I <laughs> have 
texted my better health therapist at like three or four in the morning and she has replied. Which if you're in the middle of something really stressful or you're going through something and don't know how to deal with it or navigate, for me it has been a life changer. And obviously better help or your psychiatrist or psychologist is not emergency care. If you are in an emergency, call 911, go to the emergency room. And when it comes to which type of care provider or mix of care providers is right for you, I do not make that decision. Please go talk to a professional. And if you would like to try better help, thankfully they are supporting this channel and our video to help other people get mental health support. There's specifically a link in the description for 10% off if that is of interest to you. And you don't need insurance. You can text or call or video call at any time of day. And they do have licensed therapists that are specialized in different areas of mental health. Now, if you wanna see a psychiatrist or a psychologist, I don't know if you do or don't have insurance or your medical care provider, but you can request a referral from your general doctor or you can try to seek out one on your own depending on what your medical insurance policy is. And please don't forget that whether it's a licensed therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, finding the right care provider for you is kind of like test driving a car. You kind of have to sit in the seat of a few different cars to see which one is right for you. And the same thing goes with therapy or psychiatry or mental health. You have to find the right provider that works for you and that you feel that you can talk to and open up to. And don't be afraid to switch. With BetterHelp specifically, there's no fee for switching. And if you don't like your therapist, you can get rid of them and swap them at literally any time. With BetterHelp specifically, I've used their services for over a year and a half now, and I haven't always been regular with it, but I have been able to text or call someone when I need to. That has been extraordinarily helpful. It was really easy to set up, and when you do, you can book appointments, or you can just text someone if you need to talk, or if you need insight on a situation that you don't know how to process or tools to overcome something that you're stressed about, even like when I was struggling with skin picking. Again, a huge thanks to BetterHelp for supporting this channel and really believing in the connection between mental health and acne and helping to solve it. If you want 10% off, it's there, but please just remember that it's okay to struggle with this. It's okay to ask for help. And I know it can feel so isolating and like you're so alone at times. And it's super cheesy to say like, oh, other people go through it too. But sometimes it's not until you start talking about it and processing it that you realize that it does happen to others, even if they don't have your same experience. But at the end of the day, there are ways that it can get better. And I think holding on to that hope is one of the most important things. I did this for three minutes. And you see, did that almost like a face mask. And now it's just time to wash this off. Now, the second tip when it comes to face masks, we kind of have to talk about. A lot of people who have acne look for spot treatments, things that will help dry out or annihilate or get rid of a pimple that like just pops up on your face. And I do love spot treatments and pimple patches, but a lot of people don't realize that that isn't going to help you with overall acne. It's not going to help prevent acne. When you use something like a spot treatment, what it does is it treats a spot that's already there. But when we think about how acne forms, it starts off with bacteria and oil inside of the skin, and it's only once it's already there and getting inflamed that we can actually see it on the outside. So if a spot treatment is only going on the things we can see, it's not preventing our skin from creating that acne deep down inside of our skin. It's more useful to use something all over the skin if you have all over acne and use the spot treatments just as like an emergency thing for what pops up. Some of the best ingredients to look for in spot treatments are sulfur and benzoyl peroxide. These have been proven time and time again to work and they'll like dry up a pimple. Uh, pimple patches, specifically those medicated with like salicylic acid or as a bonus if they have niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, Fantastic. Use those on those spots, but what if you do want to prevent acne from popping up on the skin everywhere else? There is one ingredient that is so freaking good. Doctors recommend it, professionals recommend it, estheticians recommend it, even naturopaths recommend it because it is technically related to carrots. And it works for literally preteens and teenagers, as well as people in their 20s, 30s, or even in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s who have wrinkles and fine lines you know that we're talking about retinoids. And oh my gosh, these are so good at preventing acne all over and treating acne that's already there. If you don't have a retinoid in your routine, you need to be a skin intellectual. You need to make sure that you're using sunscreen appropriately and starting slow. I've gone overboard with retinoids before and it can make your face very irritated. But if you're a responsible skincare user or if you're ready to become one, everyone needs a retinoid in their routine as long as their skin can handle it. There's different strengths of retinoids. If you're 
you're just starting, get one that's called Retinol, which is over the counter. This one from The Ordinary is under 10 bucks. This is great. And this one's actually in an oily solution. So if you feel like you have dry skin and acne, this can help lock in moisture from like your other products and it can help prevent your skin from drying out while still treating the acne. So this is fantastic. There's also a Dapalene gel. I love the one from Acne Free. It's really inexpensive and really good. That one is also stable to use during the daytime or the nighttime, as long as you do it under sunscreen. And then prescriptions. Again, if you can get a prescription from your doctor or derm, then great. But if you don't have a doctor or a derm, or you've never been to one, I get to work with one of the most amazing people on my team who helps us create these YouTube videos. And she told me that she's never seen a dermatologist or an esthetician. I was like, ah! So we're gonna fix that. But if you're like her, you can get prescriptions online without actually having to go into seeing a dermatologist. Two of my favorite companies are Dermatica and Agency. The Future Formula is fantastic. Now, both of these are customized to me, but if you have acne, they're probably going to put things in like tretinoin, which is this retinoid. They're probably gonna put in niacinamide. They're probably going to put in some of these ingredients or even azelaic acid that can help with acne and redness. Dermatica is great, especially if you're in the UK. Um, theirs are also smaller and they send them monthly. Agency gives you a bigger bottle. They also have dark spot formulas. So if you have like dark spots and scars, they're fantastic. This one I think is like 25. This one I think is like 30. There's also Apostrophe, which is another great brand. You don't need to have medical insurance or access to a dermatologist or wait if you can't afford to or don't want to do that. So regardless, if you pick up a retinoid from like Ulta or Sephora, or you literally get on like a FaceTime call with a doctor and get a prescription one, just get yourself a retinoid. This is another great one, the 1% retinol serum from the inky list find a formula that works for you don't be afraid to ask for a sample like at sephora don't be afraid to test them out and the reason that i love the inky list and the ordinary is that these are both like under 10 15 bucks so they're affordable acne people <laughs> you know what it's like to feel like you've tried every single product and none of them work and you're like i'm just chucking money at things that don't work this is why it's so important to turn and learn your ingredients look for the literal ingredients that have been medically proven to work before and if you're going to spend your money on something spend your money on a potent active ingredient get it at an inexpensive price and try it long enough like a month or two to see if it works for you but if you start with literally these four ingredients these are the ones that have been medically proven to work time and time again so start with these before you go to like some tea tree or like rosemary oil or like some antioxidant magical toner you know what i mean and don't forget to fight acne with makeup this is something that i so did not understand because i would put on like it was proactive and I used like the benzoyl peroxide moisturizer, which did not moisturize my skin. It just dried me out, but I would put that under makeup and it just irritated my skin. And then my makeup would clog my pores even more because I would literally cake it on. Use your makeup as skincare. There are now makeup brands that have acne fighting ingredients in their products. Now I used to buy the Neutrogena acne fighting foundation and, um, up. <laughs> to be totally transparent with you, I would buy that foundation. I would put it on, wear it throughout the day. I would sleep with it on my skin because it said acne clearing and I thought it would work better if it was on my face longer. And then I would wake up the next morning and reapply it, which is horrible. Please wash your face. Basic hygiene 101, wash the makeup off your face. This is why you wanna use an acne wash, but also don't be afraid of a double cleanse. If you don't know what a double cleanse is, we have videos on how to do it. Get like an oil to foam cleanser, remove your makeup and then use this. I wish that I had acne fighting makeup that actually worked because the Neutrogena one was absolute trash. And thankfully now there are some, but there's also skincare products that you can use in place of makeup. So before I talk about this, I'm trying to think what is currently on the market that is fantastic. Deepika, she has a brand called Live Tinted and they launched a concealer that I've been testing out. At first when I tried it, I was like, is it a little too lightweight? Like, is it really going to cover my blemishes? It's actually been working out really well. I like it on my little pimples that pop up, but also for my under eyes. Uh, because it has ingredients that, yes, can help with acne prone skin, but also help with darkness from pigmentation. So if you have blemishes that leave behind little like red or purple patches, or if you have dark under eyes, this formula, it's $24, but it has niacinamide, it has vitamin C, and it has bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is basically a plant-based alternative to this potent stuff. So if we have a concealer that's working as a legitimate skincare treatment product with niacinamide to help me control oil, hello. And then if you're using a concealer, it's going to be a lot more lightweight than a foundation. And makeup doesn't clog everybody's pores, but if you're struggling with acne and you're packing on the makeup and you think that it's clogging your pores, it might be doing that for you. 
So this concealer is great. There's also a powder that I've loved for years. It's from Juice Beauty. It's basically a loose powder, but it has sulfur in it. So this is a beautiful lightweight powder that you just dust on your face and it gives you great coverage, but it also fights acne. So literally with the Live Tinted Concealer and the Juice Beauty Powder, fighting acne, it's lightweight on the skin, taken care of. So good and look for makeup that is made for acne prone skin. Now, if you want to use your skincare as makeup, this is a great idea. And it starts with a primer. Just the way you wanna put something on all over your skin, look for formulas that kind of have grip to them that help act as a primer. Sunscreens are great for this. If you want really great acne prone friendly sunscreens, Elta MD has the UV clear. It's like $50 with niacinamide. It's expensive, but it's really, really good. There's the Isn't Tree Purple Protector, the new pair onion sunscreen that I got to help them create. We made it purple, but it blends in invisible. That is obviously one of my favorites because it works for acne prone skin. It's like $25, but I keep on telling them to put it on sale for 15 and they do. So if it's not sold out, that's another one that I recommend because I got to make it with them. Full transparency, I don't earn any money from sales. I got paid just to help them create it, but I'm not earning any money based on how many of them are sold. I just love this and I wish that I had this that made me love my skincare and protect my skin when I was 16 and had acne. And no, it doesn't smell like onions. There's also the Zitsticka Mega Shade Sunscreen. That one's really nice and lightweight if you want something super, super sheer on the skin. But you can also find serums or acne moisturizers that really give your skin a grip. And basically, you just wanna use an acne-friendly skincare product in place of makeup primer. This can take a little bit of trial and error because it depends on the formula of makeup you're wearing and whether or not it grips. You Usually makeup primers have ingredients from silicones, which are really good. And thankfully, there are some moisturizers and some skincare products that are helpful with acne that have silicone in them. So that would probably be the best place to start, but it can take a little bit of trial and error. One that's also pretty good is the Mandelic Acid Serum from Face Reality. This one's lightweight, but it still gives you like a good, you know, hold and a base for makeup. Face Reality is one brand that I use as an esthetician and a lot of other estheticians do as well. Basically, if you're looking for an esthetician acne brand, this would be the one. And and if you don't wanna spend this much on mandelic acid, the Inky List, they have a mandelic acid spot treatment that you could actually use kind of as a makeup primer or a base if you wanted to use it all over. So that's another good mandelic acid if you wanted to. And don't forget about setting sprays. A lot of people use a setting spray like the MAC Fix Plus, which is what I used to use and I spent way too much money on it, but they'll put a setting spray on to set their makeup. Don't be afraid to use an acne friendly spray. There's lots of sprays that are good for acne prone skin that have ingredients like salicylic acid, but that literally work as a makeup setting spray. They take down any of the cakiness of the powder. They help you set everything in place. Again, you need a little bit of trial and error, but this is so good. This is one from Mixsoon. This is a Korean brand I've been loving. Again, this is technically a body spray, but it works for my face and my acne, especially on my chest and my back. So I can spray this on my chest and my back, or if it's a day I'm wearing makeup, I can literally just mist this on top. Topicals has a really good acne spray. Paula's Choice has a Clarity Body Acne Spray that's good. Acne Free has an acne spray. Versed has an acne spray. Dr. Sandra Lee MD has an acne spray. Let me know if you want me to put those to the test like side by side but there's a ton of them and you have to play around a little bit but use that as your setting spray do you remember this video does anybody remember this like I would sit there and just cake my face and you know I had to do it it's what I had at the time and it's what was available to me and it's what literally got me through every single day but if I had just known about some of these tips or how to use concealer and powder to cover my blemishes without having to be makeup on Swiss cheese. <laughs> I literally got told by people that my face looked like I had just put paint on Swiss cheese. I was also called Rocky Road and Connect the Dots, but woo, don't wanna relive those traumas today. <laughs> but using skincare as makeup is such an amazing tip and that's why I'm able to literally leave the house so fresh faced and feel good about it because my skincare is working for me so I don't need as much makeup. If you found this helpful, I'm more than happy to leave resources in the bottom tab. We have a very secret Acne Warriors Facebook um, where people literally share their acne journeys and honest, unsponsored, unfiltered reviews of what products do or don't work for them. It's application only. So only the people who fill out all the questions and are legit get through, but that's really a safe place if you want it. And I'll leave it in the description. And if you want to join our community, you know where the subscribe button is. Literally text this to yourself and like schedule an email so that this pops up in your inbox first thing in the morning so that tomorrow you can literally wake up and put these practices into play and see if it does make a difference in your skin in a couple weeks or a couple months from now. Dude, if I would have known this earlier, 
my skin would have been so different, but even if I break out now, I feel good about myself. And I think that that's the journey that acne has put me on and as horrible as it was, and as much as I'd never want to go through it again, you know, in a way it taught me some really good life lessons. So that's my silver lining. Now I'm gonna go sleep on my silver pillowcase. Did you know that there's such thing as silver pillowcases for acne? I'm testing them out to see if they're worth $150 cause it sounds and smells like but I'm gonna find out and bring you a video, which is another reason you, you should subscribe. But stay hydrated, reapply that SPF, and be beautiful inside and out. I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.